Hey everybody and welcome back to Transformations by Tiffany. Today I'm outside, I'm going to be painting these old skis back here red and I made a greenery, something similar to a wreath um, and a funky bow to go on the front of it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I did was wipe these down really good. They're really old skis. I bought them at a thrift store in Boone, North Carolina. And so they're, they're not in the best shape, which is fine. Um, I don't know that anybody would actually want to ski on them, but um, I, I am going to paint them and use them as decoration. So excuse the way that I look, but I was painting with red and I didn't want it to ruin anything good. So what I did is I've got this Rust-Oleum, um, what color is this? Oh, gloss apple red, and it bonds to plastic, it says. It's fast drying indoor outdoor paint. So I'm gonna be spray painting these. They do have a sheen on them, but this says that it will stick, so we'll try it. It's already shook it up pretty good. I don't want to come off. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> This isn't covering very well. Probably a second coat will do it. pretty red. Very festive. I plan to keep these up through the winter, not just Christmas. So I got a red ribbon with snow on it. So then it would work for all winter. Here's the first coat. It's covering okay. Not as well as I would have liked for the first coat. I'm gonna turn you just a little bit so you can see all of it. Um, only paid like $5 for these. So if it doesn't turn out perfect, it's okay. But we'll let this dry 
and then I'll come back here in just a little bit and give it a second coat. Okay guys, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Okay, so I let it dry and I'm gonna come back and ju just touch up a few places. Once it's dried, it's really covering well. So I'm just gonna come down here and spray just a few places that I see that needs to be touched up. just to go over it one more time. I did not cover the holes. Honestly, I just wanted it to, to look authentic. Um, these are real skis, and I just wanted them to look like real skis. And I really don't think you're gonna notice it once I get the little wreath on. It's actually drying really quickly. still need to touch up once we're done. And this is almost taken a full can. Here's what I'm using. But it is covering, so that's good. It's working. Okay, I will be back in just a few minutes. Okay guys, I just checked it. It's still a little tacky. Um, I touched up if any places needed to be touched up, but I wanted to show you what I made to go on this when it's done. Okay. So here is my greenery and my funky bow that I made. And it has my favorite little red birds on it. And I put little berries. And I want you guys to know what this is. Let me turn it. I didn't fasten it really tight because of where I was putting it and it would stay still. So, this is made out of the bottom branches off of our Christmas tree. Um, we got a new artificial tree this year and it went all the way to the ground and I didn't want it to go that low. So my husband uh, took off the bottom branches and I didn't want to throw them away. I wanted to figure out a way to use them. So that's what I did. And so it's actually gonna sit like this on, hope I can get a hold of it. There you go. 
on the front of the skis. And I just thought that turned out so, so cute. So, I can't wait to put it on there. So we just gotta get this thing dry. There's up close of the pretty bow. See that a little better? My red bird there. Anyway, there it is. Okay guys, so I've got to run my son to an appointment and so I'm not gonna be able to let it sit and dry uh, long enough to finish this video, but I did want you to see what it's gonna look like. And so there it is. I think it is so, so cute. You see the little ribbon? So guys, I wanna thank you. Oh, excuse the sun. Thank you for coming out again. Thank you for spending some time here with Transformations by Tiffany. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's a little odd <laughs> and the sun is blinding me. Let's see if I can move this way. Maybe I can get it. There we go. Okay. So thank you for coming out. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got inspired to make something similar to this. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.